we're going to show you a man actually talking to a computer. He's going to be talking graphically. He's going to be drawing. And the computer is going to understand his drawings. And the man will be using a language, a graphical language that we call Sketchpad, that started with Ivan Sutherland. I found a light pen on eBay and was curious to see how this worked on the Commodore 64. When I had the Commodore back in the 80s I had read articles about it but never seen one in action. So just bought it now to try it myself almost 40 years later. The cathode ray beam moves line by line. From top to bottom. The light pen will pick up the light. At the moment the light shines directly into the LED. Which is in front of the pen. And then the signal is sent to the Commodore 64 joystick port. Using the paddle input pens. In order to test it. I needed a Commodore 64 program that had light pen support. Luckily, it was included with one of the light pens that I had found on eBay. This was the Koala Light Pen Edition. So, I put the cassette into the cassette player, and pressed play on tape. After a few minutes, the program was loaded into the Commodore. Now I could see if it actually worked. As you can see the sensitivity of the light pen is very poor. It is very hard to get a few simple lines on the screen. I also tried free sketch. But that was really bad. So if you ever find a light pen, just put it on display. Don't think that it is really useful. Nevertheless, great fun just to try and look at some of the history behind it.